Hey guys, we're out here on the beach chasing some shorebirds, but not too much. And you can see that sun is pretty intense, so we're running out of light. So I have changed over to songbirds. There are a lot, but they have been tricky to find. And as you can tell, between that light and then that light and then shooting into here, we need to be changing ISO a lot. Now, I didn't come up with this, but somebody showed it on Facebook and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. So you can customize a lot of things. I think one thing people take for granted is customizing the directional pad. Uh, for me, I had no use for a lot of the things it comes with. So uh, this used to be uh, screen resolution, which I always use the highest resolution. So I never changed that, that was useless. This was for film sims. Uh, I shoot raw, so I did not need quick access to film sims. One of them was for white balance. I always shoot white balance, so I didn't need, or auto white balance, so I didn't need that. And I think one of them was for autofocus mode. So I've now remapped them. And actually, I'm not even sure what the left button does. Uh, so I guess I have that set to white balance right now. I think that's actually, I have that set for video because I have this white balance button up here set to go into crop mode during video. So what have I done? When I push the right D-pad, that's gonna go to my autofocus points, which I do change those from time to time. but. You want quick access to ISO, up is our up, and down is our down. And, and actually, yeah, you don't even need to confirm. Hitting the shutter, half pressing the shutter will confirm, or you hit OK. So this is a lot faster than having to like awkwardly reach up here. You just up and down. You have the camera, you want to know how to set it up. You're just going to push the OK button, go into your menu. It's under the wrench. You're gonna go to uh, so under the wrench you're gonna go to button dial setting you're gonna go to function setting and then you're just gonna scroll down so you get your wheel so function 4 is ISO and function where is our bottom so function 4 and function 7 4 5 6 7 are your little ones and I think that's the best way to fix this stuff so for now I mean I like this actually a lot I I don't I'm not going to say I like it more than a dial. Having this back dial for ISO is still the dream, and then I can do other stuff with these. But for now, I really didn't need all of these customizable. Uh, I wasn't using most of them anyway, and this is a much better workaround. Uh, for a while, I just had the down button set, but the trouble, if you have the down button, so you push down, and now you're here, but now you got to move your thumb and go back to up. So I just found it much more natural if I want to go up. I just go up, 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 and I just start mashing up. And then I get where I want, and I, I usually hit OK out of muscle memory, but the shutter will also do it. So there's your tip. That's the fastest way I've found to change ISO on the X-H2S right now. Hope it helps. Mm -hmm.